Hello, Dan Matheny here. We're going to go for a walk. Anyway, I was babbling a lot the other day about my installation with Arch Linux. And I will probably show some pictures, but really, to break it down, you want to make sure you start your system control services, your network services, and you're going to want to do reading on auto mounting and you're going to want to do reading on your networks. I mean, IWP is an excellent, minimal, easy to use, command line based wireless connection application. Application, anyway. Today's a great day in my personal life. Great news, but I don't really go too much into my personal life. Um, probably call some friends after I do this quick video but yeah that's what you're gonna want to look into when you're putting together Arch Linux and uh, your sound you know Alsa works out of the box you have to configure pulse audio and not everything always shows up so sometimes I have to activate the sound or not activate it but I have to I have to click on the uh, certain module to adjust certain features and functions but that's not really a big deal I don't care I'm sure there's an easier shortcut way to do it and I'll figure it out eventually but um you know my window manager ice window maker is what it is uh, you know I'm thinking about playing around with other things but I really like ice window maker because it's still in development you can use PC man FM or whatever you can use XF desktop as the desktop because I've done that before with ice window maker and it works great and it functions great um, so that, that's my, uh, nitty gritty about that. So I'm sorry about the long babbling. I do like doing a video on, uh, on the little cheese camera, even though there wasn't a camera. And, you know, I use my, uh, HiQ MP3 recorder by the computer instead of using the audio for the, uh, laptop because it actually works better than uh, than anything else and HiQ MP3 recorder is an excellent device for your Android phones anyway I wanted to condense everything I said so I can make it easier I might do a I don't know if I do a arch install video until I I decide to configure VirtualBox but what I could do is write down a tutorial you know a straight simple meat and potatoes tutorial on how I installed Arch Linux even though there's millions of documents out there for Arch Linux and that's probably why I won't do it but everything is working snappy since I set it up and I don't think I'm gonna go with anything else and here's why because I don't have to un uninstall you know I don't have to wipe out the drive and install another operating system now I do have a MacBook I want to set Arch Linux up on, which is going to be a chore, just because I want to do it, because I know that there's firmware to it, and I like the challenge of it. I like the challenge of it, even though, like, MacBook Pros do work for Manjaro and stuff, but that's because everything's already pre-configured, you know, but this isn't pre-configured. This is me having to troubleshoot why, but I already know what the driver is and stuff for the uh, wireless device firmware, but uh, I'll just see what happens whenever I decide to do it but I just uh, just when you have the install I mean this is the tip just when you're doing the install from the arch wiki and you're looking around with other resources at the end when you're installing all the components make sure you add network manager make sure you add your services you know make sure you enable your services and start your services that's the biggest thing that you're going to want to do because the wired connection is not going to work out of the box after you're done installing Arch Linux. Anyway, that's to break it all down because I was flapping my gums for 24 minutes. It's almost five minutes. So I wanted to break everything down for you guys. Anyway, I hope you guys are having an excellent day. I'm going to finish my walk. See ya.